Hi, Sam Rules here, Portfolio Specialist from T. Rowe Price, giving you an update on what happened in global markets for the week ending 8th of May. Last week was quite an uneventful week in share markets, which is not a bad thing. We actually had the least volatile week in share markets that we've seen since this crisis began. When we look at the VIX or the volatility index, we've actually seen this come down quite meaningfully since the unprecedented highs we saw in March. So for global markets, we saw them rise around 2.5% last week, with the US outperforming, so the S&P up a little more than 3%. I think this is a really interesting time to do a bit of a stock take in terms of what we've seen through this recovery. And with global markets, we're now up from the lows in March, just shy of 30%. And just like last week, a lot of the outperformance coming out of the US. One of the questions I think is, how has the US done so well in terms of share market performance, despite underperforming when it comes to how they've flattened the curve of coronavirus? And I think an interesting thing to look at is the composition of that index. We have around 50% or just more than 50% of the US S&P 500 coming from IT, healthcare and communication services companies. And these are sectors that have tended to do quite well during this crisis. A big question for investors now is, is there a disconnect between what financial markets are pricing and the underlying pain being felt in economies? We've seen markets do very well, despite a lot of negative data around the world. And last week was no exception of this, markets rising despite the worst unemployment figure coming out of the US since the Second World War, but also the tensions between China and US escalating. This is part political, as we have the November election ahead of us, but also we're seeing China fall short of what they guaranteed to import as part of the phase one deal, only importing around 11% of the full year target. So with the market effectively choosing to shrug off negative data and focus on the hope that the world gets back to normal, it's an important checkpoint, I believe, to look at how we're tracking on this front. What we can actually see in the mobility trends around the world is that we're starting to get back to normal. We're starting to recover and people are starting to move around these economies more than they did before. However, what we're seeing is not all countries are doing this at the same rate. We have countries like US and even Australia starting to show a trend of increasing mobility over recent weeks, but it's just not increasing at the same rate in other countries such as Europe. And this is something where while the US is down around 20% year on year, we have countries in Europe still down a little more than 50%. So right now we're really focused in terms of how the world does reopen, but also what this means for infection rates as we start to move around these economies more.